I'm also announcing that as part of our additional tax cuts, we will end all taxes on overtime. You know what that means? Think of that. Think of that. The people who work overtime are among the hardest working citizens in our country. And for too long, no one in Washington has been looking out for them. Those are the people. They really work. It's time for the working man and woman to finally catch a break. And that's what we're doing, because this is a good one. So that's why we will be saying that if you're an overtime worker, when you're past 40 hours a week, think of that. Your overtime hours will be tax-free. Okay? Good. You're going to have it, too. Uh, so, hey, you know who the biggest employer in uh, America is? United States government. Yeah. Yep. Millions of employees. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's why and they, they all need... vote Democrat because they don't want to lose their jobs. That's why they need Elon Musk in there, too. I think they'd probably get rid of half of them right off the bat. Yeah, Trump says that he's going to hire Elon Musk, if he wins, to audit the government and get rid of all of the waste, which is, Elon said it could be as much as a trillion dollars a year in waste. Easily. Yeah. Easily. Easily. And Democrats don't want that. <laughs> they fight that. They're, They're fighting that. Those are built-in voters. That's why. Yeah, think about that. Hey, um, the government might get shut down because the Democrats won't sign the stipulation that says illegals can't vote. They will not sign it. And they're gonna somehow they're gonna demonize Trump over that. They pull that every time. Everything they don't want, they don't want to sign it. They say we're gonna shut the government down, and it's the Republicans' fault. Because the media all gangs up on Republicans and exactly. and twists it around and lies to everybody. The media exactly. is the enemy of the people, guys. The enemy. Brenda, yeah. Trump just came out and said, uh, shh, ambulance. Trump just came out and said that. Uh, uh, he's going to sign a bill that uh, uh, if you get overtime, uh, you don't have to pay tax on any overtime. Oh, man, my brother's going to love that one. Does he work a lot of overtime? Yeah, UPS. They're trying to get them to, they're trying to get them to quit so they can hire oh. others cheaper than yeah, what yeah, they're yeah. paying him. I always heard UPS is horrible to work for. He makes really good money. Yeah, but they're, they bust your ass. Yeah, they so do. So here's the thing. Trump's no tax on tips, and then he's doing no, um, he's talked about no tax on if you, uh, when you get your social security checked, he did talk about that. Essentially what I'm saying is Trump is reverting to what the Democrats do. In a way, it's offering free stuff, but at least it's stuff that you worked for, yeah. right? Exactly. It's, exactly it's free right. stuff for working people yeah. that you've busted your ass for. Yeah. You can't offer this stuff to Democrats because they don't have jobs. You know what free I mean? stuff for people who just want freebies who've never worked yeah. in their life. But Social Security, they shouldn't tax people for that, man. A lot of people can barely survive. No, they shouldn't. And Social that, Security isn't enough money to live on. That and state pensions. Yeah. You gotta include state pensions in that. A lot of state pension people out there include. Leave themselves. the retired people alone. Yep. So, I mean, it's free stuff in a way, but you can't complain about it. I think it's a good idea. Well, hey, and it's less money for the government. They don't need it. No. no. Well, you, if they don't have the money, they just print it. You put Musk in there, you're not going to need that money anyway. You could, the, the retirees can keep their money. They'll have more money to put out there in, into business. Yeah. But as far as the money that Musk will save, oh. you're not even going to miss the money that they're taxing. Yeah. Does Elon have time to work for the Trump cabinet? I think he does. You think he does? Is Elon, does he just have a bunch of smart people working for him? Yep. Because he doesn't hire on DEI, he hires on merit. So he's got a bunch of smart people working for him. So... It takes him less time to do. Yeah, he knows how to delegate, yeah. Yeah. right? He's probably really good at that. What do you think about Trump um, saying no tax on overtime pay? Oh, sounds That's, good. He just came out with that the other, the other day. Of course, no it does, doesn't affect me because, right. you know, I'm Social Security. Well, so. he, he's, uh, he's also mentioned no tax on Social Security. I do remember him saying well, that. Well, I like that yeah. because, you know, if you go in and look, it says Florida doesn't tax Social Security, but uh, it, it does. It does. So, uh, yeah, it comes out, like, you got to pay it like... like uh, you got to uh, add it into your taxes. If it was your salary, you yeah. got to pay the appropriate tax, which is like 30% or whatever it is. I don't know. I just know I have to add it. No in tax on tips. Taxes. He's also talked about that. So Trump is offering free stuff to the working people. Right, right. Well, you think that's a good idea? 
Yeah. Yeah. Kamala, watch Gotta Kamala. Kamala's gonna come out and say, no tax on overtime pay. <laughs> That'll be her next thing. Yeah. Guarantee it, dude. If it if it looks like it's popular, she'll come out and, oh, yeah. and do it. Yeah. yeah. If Trump yeah. said it, she's gonna do it. Yeah. Okay. But this is our version of handing out free stuff. But the only difference is you've worked for it. Yeah. Where Democrats, you can't, it's not gonna appeal to Democrats because half of them don't work. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Trump, baby, Trump! Trump! Why am I crazy? You're crazy! Don't vote for Kamala! She's dumb! You're dumb! Trump, baby, Trump! Yeah! Make that shirt, man? Oh, yeah, I made it. <laughs> Toilets for so hair. Good. Yeah, we flushed Biden. Now we gotta flush Kamala. Sometimes. Sometimes the, the duke is so big, you gotta flush it twice. Yeah. <laughs> Toilets for hair. Yeah, man. For those triggers. Hey, is this your first time coming out to the flag wave? Hell yeah, I'm a huge fan of you. I watch you every single day, bro. God bless you. You are awesome, man. Do you live around here? I live in Sarasota. Oh, crap. You drove all the way here? I got an Uber all the way over here. You took an Uber all the way to come? Ubered all the way over here. You are awesome, my friend. You Drive damn patriot. 24. Yeah, Trump God bless you, man. Gen Z for Sarasota, Trump. that had to be like a three hour drive. Oh, my gosh. Gen Z for Trump. Man. Dude, how much does an Uber cost to go from Sarasota to here? A lot. <laughs> oh my god, dude, that's crazy. Anyways, well, you really wanted to wave some Trump flags. Oh yeah. Maybe yeah. y'all had some trigger. Trigger! Yeah, what do you think of the Kamala Harris supporters we got across the street? Delusional. They're nuts. They're nuts. Yeah, they they just lived through three and a half years of Biden and Kamala and they want more of that crap. They want 50-year high inflation and yeah. they want men to be women. Well, they must want 80-year high inflation because that's probably what they're going to get. They probably will. They want it. Yeah. Then they can blame Trump for it. Yeah. <laughs> you like the sticker? I love, I love this. <laughs> well, welcome to the party, man. Yeah. God bless you. Thank you. You too. <laughs> okay. Where's your normal hat? Uh, I don't know. I'm switching it up. We noticed. Yeah. yeah. Are you incognito? Yeah, I'm incognito. <laughs> Nobody recognizes yeah. me without without the hair hat. True though. Yeah. But uh, so hey, Trump came out and said that he wants to have no tax on overtime. Yes. So is that a good idea? That is a wonderful idea. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. If you work hard all week and put in 40 hours, yep. they shouldn't be taking your overtime exactly. money, right? No tax on overtime. No tax on tips. Really? Yeah. Yeah. No tax on tips. No so tax on capital gains. Mmm, that would be good. Yeah. Has he said that? No, but that oh. would be nice. She well, wants Kamala that. Harris wants to up the. She, she wants, wants to take. The, she wants to take like, capital gains. Oh, uh, unrealized yeah. is almost insane. That would yeah. kill this country. It would absolutely. Yeah. We will end up Venezuela then. Do you think if um, no no tax on overtime? Do you think if that happens and it's popular, uh, Kamala's going to adopt that too? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. She adopts She'll everything. She'll take it as her own idea. Yeah, that's Seems what like she it. does. Yeah. yeah. The only problem is Democrats don't, most of them don't work. Yeah, right. that's So true. it ain't going to appeal to them. Yeah. 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 Yep, very true. Uh, are you guys getting nervous? Because uh, they says the polls are uh, neck and neck. Yeah, I don't you believe really it? care what the polls say. More yeah. concerned about fraud. Yeah, which there's going to be a lot of it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about in Florida, but man, 26 states don't ask you for an ID. Yeah. I don't yeah. trust... I don't trust the other states. No, DeSantis has done a good job here. Yeah. And Can you imagine during the election? It's going to be here before you know it. And you're watching it. And then all the swing states say, we're too tired to keep counting, guys. We'll yeah. pick it up in the morning. It'll be three days later. Yeah. I don't want to go a whole month not knowing who won. No. You know, Florida's a big state. Yeah. And uh, we knew that night who won. Right. Florida. But so. they need to actually count. I always find yeah. it funny that... California. They like Trump over there in a the white truck. Woo! Yeah. So is this your third time voting for Trump? Yes. Me too, baby! Me too! <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a Trump flag! Yeah, baby! Patriot! Look at this group of morons. Right there. You want to see another group of morons? Hey, there's another group of idiots. Right there! So, hey, Trump said that uh, he doesn't want to tax overtime pay. He shouldn't be taxing overtime yeah. pay. It, it already should be. But no, it should be. It? If you put in 40 hours, you worked your butt off all mm -hmm. week. Yeah, why should you pay tax? Uh, the overtime's you, where you make, you know. You can actually earn uh, some extra money and yeah. pay for these expensive groceries and all the fuel. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. a good idea. 
Well, I, I still don't think most of these people understand what Kamala wants to do with this taxing, you know, uh, perceived income. You know, so you, you bought a house. Gain. Yeah, unrealized gain. So you bought a house for hundred thousand dollars, and now Five it's worth. They're going to tax you on all this money. You haven't made any money, but yeah. they're going to tax you on it. Yeah, talk about greedy, right? R ridiculous. Just let's print, print some more money and make it worthless. That's probably what they do in Venezuela. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Weirdos for Harris! Weirdos for Harry ass! Freaks! Say bye Felicia! <laughs> bye Felicia! <laughs> Don't freak! Hey man, what do you think about Trump saying uh, if he wins, he's gonna pass a bill that says no tax on overtime pay? Oh. You like that? Yeah, yeah, I do like that. I mean, He's giving the workers a break yeah. instead of the freeloaders. Yeah, that, no tax on tips. Yeah, that's hey, for the working man and woman. Hey, anybody motivated to work more forty hours a week? Yeah, bless them. Oh, bless people them would be that. motivated to do some overtime then, oh, won't absolutely. they? Absolutely. Yeah. The pe look, people that have money aren't interested in working overtime. Yeah. Hardworking, poor people are always interested in overtime. I think it's that actually is a fantastic idea. Trump talking about no tax on um, Social Security too at one point, but I, I thought I heard something on yeah. that too. But I, whenever it comes to talking about Social Security, I just kind of tune it out because they they always talk about it and they never pull through with anything. They, how long till we? Uh, they say Social Security is going to run out, like tw Dude, twelve I, years. My, okay, so my entire life, I have never expected it to be there. They've been talking doom and gloom about people my age, my entire lifetime. Yeah. I've, I've lived my life not expecting to get it. And yeah. the way it's looking now, it's not gonna be there in a decade. Yeah. I mean, hopefully I'm wrong. I know everybody depends on it or whatever. If there's but... money sitting there, politicians can't help themselves but to spend it. Yeah. We... Spend it on illegals, probably. When we bring, when we... Yeah. When we increase our population by 10, 20 million people, it throws off all the the entitlement benefits that we think yeah. that we're paying into yeah. for being a citizen our and entire life. And if Kamala life wins, there'll be another 20, 20 million. So if Kamala wins, Biden and Kamala collectively will have let in almost 50 million illegals wow. that aren't doing shit to contribute that we all as taxpayers have to pay for it. No. Billions and billions and hundreds of billions of dollars. No. It's nuts. So I, I, I worked in a charity for a while right down the road in Seminole County. Mm -hmm. And uh, if a man ever presented at the charity, there was no, there was zero consideration of ever giving a man any type of hotel room, just even, have for, women. even for one night. Yeah. If, if a woman with children presented at the charity, there's a chance they might find some type of accommodation. Yeah. But men, no way. That's why when I saw this beginning to happen, and, they, and New York was actually putting people in hotels, I'm like, what the hell is going yeah. on? There's a lot of Americans that really need help and they're being ignored in favor of people from other countries that just come over here. It makes no sense, bro. A lot of combat vets came back home. They got, you know, for, for whatever injuries they sustained, they got hooked on opiates, okay? The VA was the VA was prescribing Oxycontin like it was candy. And there's a lot of veterans that, that were on pain meds got hooked on opiates. Now those people are drug addicts on the street. Yep. And, and if those people ever show up at a charity, I, I met a decorated combat Marine presented to my, and he was a wreck, but he could get no social services, no help whatsoever. And this was when COVID began. So that's our, that was our mentality and our behavior toward males in this country. Yeah. Before we had an additional 15, 20 million yeah. single males that can't speak our language. Right. We need to ship them all back out of here. He's here said than done, bro. I yeah. Agree. Deport all of them. Oh, they're leaving. The Kamala weirdos are leaving. I don't, literally, I don't know who did that. It wasn't me. Believe it or not, because it looks like something I would do, but it wasn't me. <laughs> who did that? All those, I did that Biden stickers. I can't even use them anymore. Hey, I want to do a quick shout out to Mike Nificent. 
Old Mike Nificent. Yeah. This Love man, Mike. Mike used to come, for all you new people on Jeff's channel, Mike used to come out and hang with us with the flag whips. Yeah. Way back when, when Jeff started doing yep. them, then Mike Nificent went on and became a broadcaster or a newscaster, RSBN. whatever you call it, for RSBN. Mm -hmm. Now, Mike is out starting to do his thing again in Minnesota, the Wisconsin area. So battleground states, not a lot of hope for us there, but he's out doing his thing. Everybody check him out on YouTube, give him a like. He's yeah. been doing some live streams from some events out yeah. in the Minnesota Mike disappeared area. for like a two years or more and um, moved, moved out of state and he just recently yeah. popped back up on the scene and is doing political commentary or political stuff again on his channel.